Hi, I'm Dr. Balaji Jaganmohan. I'm a practicing diabetologist at the Apollo Sugar Clinics, Padmanabh Nagar, and JP Nagar in Bangalore. Today, I want to talk about diabetic neuropathy, what we also call it as peripheral diabetic neuropathy, or bilateral symmetric distal polyneuropathy. So, what happens in diabetic neuropathy? If you see most diabetic patients tend to develop this microvascular complication called peripheral neuropathy, where they present with sim symptoms of numbness, tingling, they complain that they're not able to feel their footwear, they feel like they're walking on a cotton ball, or other such paresthesias and dysesthesias. Uh, this is the most common symptom that patients tend to present, especially if their blood sugars, the HbA1c is not under control and if they have a longer duration of diabetes. Now, what are the risk factors for developing a peripheral diabetic neuropathy? So, poor sugar control is number one. Longer duration of diabetes increases the risk. Presence of uncontrolled hypertension, presence of uh, dyslipidemia or abnormal cholesterol levels. If the patient is a smoker, that's a risk factor. Alcohol intake, any chronic alcoholic, it can aggravate or it can lead to early peripheral neuropathy. And also if the individual is long, any uh, taller individual has the higher risk of developing neuropathy. So like I mentioned these symptoms, it's easy to then automatically ask these patients to get certain tests done uh, so that we can pick up this peripheral neuropathy. Now there are some very basic tests and a little more advanced tests also available. So we need to check for certain sensations. So what are the ones that we check? We check for pain, pressure, temperature, vibration and touch. And there are basic things like using a tuning fork or even a pin prick or even there is something called the monofilament that will pick up the pressure in the sole of the feet. But uh, more often than not, in advanced diabetic centers, we use something called the biothesiometry, which picks up something called vibration perception threshold. So that will help us to pick up the vibration sense, whether it is perceived or it is lost due to neuropathy. And certain advanced cases, there is another study called the nerve conduction study or the sural nerve test. This will also pick up the impulse transmission in the nerves, which might be abnormal uh, and suggestive of a peripheral diabetic neuropathy. Now, how do you treat diabetic neuropathy? Diabetic neuropathy is treated by good sugar control, trying to avoid smoking and alcohol, trying to keep the blood pressure and blood cholesterol under good control. Apart from this, there are certain medications that are available to relieve the pain and the numbness and tickling. There are certain nerve vitamins that are rich in B12, B6, folic acid, alpha-lipoic acid, and benfotiamine, which can also be useful to relieve the symptoms. So get yourself screened and treated for diabetic neuropathy if you have these symptoms. Thank you.